up wedding nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's drunken manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for tokyo ghoul re chapter 117. oh my god last chapter between the um uh, finding out about the detachable kagane's uh, i'm referring to donato and uta's detachable kagane's and Basically, fucking, uh, we fa figured out that Mitsuki was raping a detachable cockney. <laughs> and, um, then we got the great stuff at the end where a mod is talking to Kaneki. Been waiting for this shit. Shida Senpai, don't let me down here. I swear to fucking God. I I've been waiting for weeks for, th for this shit. As I peer out upon the world through a single eye, um, I choose to adopt a deductive gaze. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh my god. The live action film will uh, release countrywide on July 29th, and I'm scared for that film because the go look at the poster. There is no ghoul eye or no fucking eye patch on him. It pissed me off. And this chapter is called Thumb Up. Thanks to, um, Beno's, uh, wait, sorry, it's fucking hard to read sometimes. Beno's devoted care, um, and the, uh, RC suppressor drug, Akira's, um, life has been saved now. Wha Wha where's, where's my Amon and, uh, and Kaneki? That's not fair. I want my mom and Kaneki talk. Where am I? Whoa. Oh, I'm so glad. It really was worth staying at your side this whole time. He'll be pretty happy too. I really am so glad. So you're finally awake. Fuck him <laughs> Who the hell are you? to me and now you why is she not why why oh my god oh my god i'm going to be ranting at fucking two in the morning oh, and i'm drunk and ranting at two in the morning oh okay maybe this will we will we'll see this i don't know dizzy 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 kaneki akira's woken up hmm oh hmm oh man we get this confrontation but we don't get fucking Amon and Kaneki! How do you how do you feel? My memories and emotions are you. Are you someone I know? A Akira, I my feelings uh, towards you have not changed. Even now, to me, you are, as far as I'm concerned, how should I put it? The investigator I knew would have never turned his blade against um, Kisha Arima. I'm sorry, but please leave me alone. That's, that's not a mon. Shida, what, what, that, is, that does not, that's not a mon. That is not a mon. No. That, that, that's not a mon. If that is a mon, I'm just gonna be like really shocked because he had fucking dark hair last chapter. That ain't fucking a mon. I probably shouldn't have brought it up, CCG and Arima and stuff. It's important. It's better to just get it out uh, now rather than put it off and potentially leave room for misunderstanding. I'm just worried about Akira. She's more delicate than you think. Why aren't we having this conversation with a mod? Oh, I'm so mad. Will things be okay as they are now? Her environment's changed drastically from the CCG to the ghoul's side, the ghoul side in a matter of days. Oh man, that would fuck, it, fuck anybody's wind up. Um, we can't even hope to understand the emotional burden she's bearing. It's going to take some time to break the ice between us. Also, think about what she went through with seeing Mitsuki going fucking crazy. Yeah, that's kind of psychologically damaging. But anyway, according to my contacts, Akira Mato, um has already been expunged from uh, her former role as CCG investigator and is currently on the wanted list of ghoul countermeasures uh, act violators. 
well, this makes sense because they saw her defend Takizawa from Mitsuki. So, y- yeah, that kind of makes sense. So Mitsuki basically snitched. Oh, there's my su- Okay, I love Sukiyama. So, I love I love him. I love him, especially for what he's about to say right here. How's about uh, we try a cyber attack on the CCG? <laughs> yes! I love the way you think. If we don't have enough machines, then they'll track us down in no time flat. Fuck! Ugh. On top of it all, it's basically impossible for her to go back to the way things once were. Well, no fucking shit. Though it may have been just a moment's discretion, her voluntary act of shield- shielding Ao Takizawa was what gave rise to the current situation. As I said, it's because she shielded Takizawa and protected him from uh, Mitsuki. Even so, I want to do what I can for her. She is important. Well, yeah, she's important in multiple ways. Fuck, she's, she, oh my god. Akira's going to help us so goddamn much. Just watch. She's going to help us in the war. There's no two ways about, um, about the fact that it's going to take her some time to come to terms with the status quo. That being said, we may be able to shorten the process a bit. And if that is, um, to be the path we choose, to take the person most equipped to save Arima, um, or not Arima, fuck, why did I say that? To save Akira... Mo- See, I corrected myself. Uh, we uh, choose to take the person most equipped to save Akira. May it be the person that hates her the most. Hinami. What? What? Hinami? Why? Oh my god. A gory tree. Ruins of 19th Ward base. Oh my god, why are we here? What's the matter? Why'd you bring me all the way? Uh, nothing. She She's regained consciously, um, consciousness, apparently. Ah, the spine wielder. Do you hate her? I... She didn't, um... Directly do anything to me, you know. Oh my god. I can't believe Hinami is gonna be the one to save Mato. Oh my fucking god. That is crazy. She, um, but it's complicated. The fact that she's in GOAT, that is. Every time I look at her, I can't, re- I can't help but remember my mom and dad, no matter how much I try not to. Oh, poor Hinami. I guess one day I'll get used to that too, like how repeatedly scraped skin eventually grows thick and hard, but somehow I feel that um, that'd be a disgrace to their memory. I want to, I want to remember them when I want to, not any other time, and someday I want to be able to perceive what happened to them in a positive way, to be able to neatly file it away with everything else. That's why... Hold on, I'm waiting for the page to turn. Hurry up, page! But, man, Hinami! Oh my god. Like, my heart is breaking for her right now. But at the same time... Where is my fucking conversation with Amon and Kaneki? I want it! This is... Don't do this to me. Don't... There we go. I want this! Like, what the fuck? But anyway. I still can't. (gasps) Toka! Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god, a mod is being Toka! Oh my god! Oh my god! So we finally meet, Rabbit! Please take a seat. Or have you come to arrest me? I would if I had my badge. Would it be too much uh, to ask for a cup? You like yours black too, don't you? Don't you want to go see her? She's woken up, you know. I'm scared. I'm neither human nor ghoul. I've become something else. Kind of like Kaneki is, but oh my fuck god. I, why could we have seen the conversation with Amon and Kaneki? Even though this is probably just as good, maybe even better. No, nothing would have been better than the Kaneki talk. I, I want to know what they said. And I've wandered all this time without so much as a word to her. She didn't know whether I was alive or dead. I can't find the words after all this time. Miss, um, Amon, I too want to talk to Akira Amato. But I'm scared. I'm the one uh, that killed her father, your superior. Yes, and that's why Hinami doesn't, and I understand why Hinami doesn't like Akira because of the, you know, because that was her father that uh, killed her parents, but, oh man, 
I hope things I, things are gonna get better with uh, Hanami and Mato. I, I got a feeling they will. But anyway, I if you don't go uh, first, I'll be too scared to meet her at all. I might even have have to meet her. Might have no choice. Rabbit, losing Mato made me feel pain, rage. It lit a fire in my chest that will burn till I die. But that fire doesn't burn at you. It burns at the world uh, at this world. The circumstances that gave us no choice but to do what we did. Woo. At least that's what I know now. I came here today to tell you that. Can I ask you something? Did you want to see her? While you were just aimlessly ro roaming about? Did you ever feel like you like wanting to go see her? Go see Akira Mato? Akira, first class Amon, I have identified 22 unnecessary elements in your sentence structure. Be grateful. Yeah, then why all this now? Just go. If it were me, I'd be happy. Even if time has passed, even if our bodies have changed, even if he'd forgotten me completely. Y we know you're talking about Kaneki. We know. As long as he comes comes back home, things will be all right. Oh, oh God, we know. We know you want the Kaneki. D. Yes, she is talking about Kaneki right now. She is so talking about Kaneki. And I have a feeling that's kind of, I have a feeling that's why a mom went to see her and talk to her about this. Because she, I think he kind of knows she's in a similar situation. So, yeah. You know, you're pretty nice. Yeah, well, what can I say? As Goat was having its core shaken up, oh my god. So, okay. As, well, I'm gonna finish this chapter and then I will do my brief rant. As Goat was having its core shaken up by the awakening of Akira uh, Mato, the CCG, due to the um, disappearance of Deputy Bureau Chief Mitsuri, uh, Chief Mitsuri Washu was on the precipice of profound change. Step, 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 step. Woo! S2 Squad Leader, Kuki Yuri, First Class. Bureau Chief Advisor, Kuri Yui, Special Class. S3 squad leader, Ju um, Juzo Suzuya, my baby, uh, special class. Um, S1 squad leader, uh, Mogen uh, um, Tanakamaru, special class. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Kori Ui, having become an aide to an advisor to the new Washu um, bureau chief, had distanced himself from his duties as part of the S1 squad. Um, Tana, oh wait. Tanakamaru began to oversee the squad as deputy leader. Due to the reprehensible clowns out, out bush, ambushes, sorry, due to the, due to the re reprehensible clowns out, ambushes, we have lost many. Bureau Chief Washu will now make an announcement about a few organizational, uh, about a new organizational system. Listen closely. Kuki Uri, being familiar with the inner workings of the squad with his experience as um, Matsuri Washu's aide and blessed with more than enough talent, was tapped for the uh, now vacant spot of S2 squad leader. His rank was swiftly raised to that of a first class investigator. Well, that's nice. A far too sly last bureau chief. Step now with the Washu line all but wiped out and Matsuri Washu lost to parts unknown. There was only one man left in the bureau who carried Washu blood in his veins. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Verona! Someone needs to give this! Someone needs to give this! Okay, I gotta re read. I gotta read this. The rest of this, but fucking... <laughs> Okay, Nimura Farada, now known as Kichimura Washu, the man known as the last bureau chief of the CCG. How do you do? It says I am the bureau chief and his class is a party. Oh, oh my god. Farada. Why Farada? Oh my god, Farada. Oh my fucking god. Someone needs to gift this, like make a party hard gift out of this fucking Okay, so, <sighs> Ishida, as much as I like, I, I love this chapter, 
And I love that we got Amon and um, Toka talking. I would really like to buy Amon Kaneki talk. Are you gonna do like a special chapter for this? Like, I, I don't understand. It, it's really making me mad. It really is. It's just like, ugh, why? Why are you not showing this? There has to be a reason why. There has to be a reason why Ishida Senpai is not showing this conversation. It might be, you know what I'm thinking? We're going to see the conversation when Amon talks to um, Akira. Swatch! When he talks to Mato, that's when we're going to get the conversation. But, motherfucker, Farada, you bastard! Oh my god, Farada. I might have to put, I really was going to put a picture of Mato for the thumbnail, but now I might have to put you at the, the fucking, oh my god. Oh my god, it's fucking that face, just, just that fucking, those goddamn glasses and the stash, like, oh my god, it, it's killing me, like, I'm dead right now, I swear to god, oh my god, anyway, let me know what you nerdigans thought of this chapter, are you kind of pissed that there was no Kaneki, um, Amon talk here, that we're probably gonna have to wait for another couple chapters, did you like the Toka um, Amon talk. I really like that. And I love that Toka was talking about her love for Kaneki. I loved it. And what do you think about the new changes at the CCG and those fucking piv classes? That fucking Parada is weird. <laughs> oh, and I probably should mention that, um, he is the last bureau chief of the CCG. So if he goes down, I wonder what's gonna happen. Is the CCG just gonna be disbanded? Like, what the fuck is gonna happen if the bureau chief goes down? I'm really curious what you nerdigans think about this. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. And if you love what I'm doing and want to um, contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, especially if you want me to do more drunken manga Nerdigan live reactions like this, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to the Nerdigans Inc. PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel and friend me on PlayStation Network. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be... Oh, yeah, and all that's in the description box below. And then, until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.